Hello, Lego Man 415 here, and um, this is my first review. And the game I choose is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Why? Because it's actually the first game that I bought with my own money. Partially. Me and my oldest brother, I should say, went three quarters and a, a quarter. But anyway, I mean, we had Sonic 1 for the Genesis, but I always liked playing Sonic 2. Because Sonic 2, you could run faster, and I liked that as a kid. Um, I guess I should start out with the story. And basically, the story is, after the first time Sonic beat Dr. Robotnik, he's now creating this death egg, and it's up to Sonic and his new buddy Tails to stop him. This, of course, is the introduction of Tails and the Spin Dash. For those who don't know, the Spin Dash was a leftover bit from the first one, it, and I'm guessing they didn't fully develop it because of time constraints. Plus, I cannot imagine trying to spin dash it in that game. I, I'll i get to the first one maybe some other day, but right now I'm doing the second one. I feel like the stage design and the spin dash really coincide to make this game better because it does what they were trying to do with the first Sonic game, and that is create a high-speed platformer. And that's just something the second game did better than the first. The music is really top notch. I mean, I do not know a single soul who does not know this Eggman theme. And I once had a cell phone game that used the Chemical Plant Zone theme. crazy, right? I feel like the music is just so iconic. But anyway, the boss fights to me are kind of a cakewalk. I mean, it actually kind of just drops in difficulty at the end of the game, really. It's, it just gets really hard. You know, the final egg robot. It was just really tough to me as a kid. It's funny. Um, I've been talking about this game at work all day and I've had so much to say about it in my head but now that I'm in front of a microphone I just cannot say a thing. Another thing you can do in this game is play Tails during the single player mode. I don't know why you would do that to a friend or a sibling but there is that option and you see the problem with that is that the camera focuses on Sonic all the time. It's not split screen like the multiplayer. It almost just kind of becomes, I hope I don't outrun Sonic, because once you fall off screen, you're not going to be able to find yourself again, at least very easily. Another problem with this is that Tails can't really do anything. He can collect rings for you, he can destroy enemies, don't get me wrong, and he's very helpful during boss fights. But he cannot collect power-ups for you. Those computer monitors, he cannot destroy them for some reason. And also he can't fly. So it's not like in Sonic 3 where you can have Sonic grab onto Tails and then fly around. No, that'd just be way too easy. There's not much to say that hasn't been all said already. They built on what the first already did good. Um, only thing that um, I can truly complain about this game is the lack of a save state and kind of how pointless it is to get the Chaos Emeralds. Let me explain. If you're a normal gamer and you really want to go after the Chaos Emeralds, are you going to know that there are seven different checkpoints in the first state? No, you're going to probably get to the third or fourth level, if you can even carry 50 rings for that long, and then unlock Super Sonic, and then have very limited time to enjoy him before you beat the game, and then pretty much have to start it over again. You know what I mean? Because whereas, you know, like Sonic 3 had the save point and then when you unlocked all the Chaos Emeralds, you could go back and and just enjoy going fast to Super Sonic. Sonic 2, you don't really have that luxury unless you cheat. And take that from me. I used that cheat a lot as a kid just so I can enjoy Super Sonic. And the special stages. The special stages are... All right, I don't really like how they work in Sonic 2. I'm, I like them better in other games. It's just not as refined in Sonic 2. And I know this is the first time, but it's still, I feel like they could have 
I don't even know. Just had the blue sphere run. I like that. The special stages, I think they're okay. They're not the greatest. Playing Super Sonic is kind of hard to control him, but it's still satisfying and fun in its own way. The multiplayer, I've never found very enjoyable. That doesn't mean there's not fun to be had in them. I've enjoyed it for short periods of time, just not very long. And that mostly contributes to the fact that it's always been against someone who's very good at Sonic. Me personally, I'm not very good, so... So yeah, Sonic 2, I hope you enjoyed my first review. Between good stage design, good gameplay, great music, and a good physics engine, I don't know why you haven't played this game. I mean, if you haven't. And with such good gameplay, it has so much replayability. And even though that I think going after the Chaos Emeralds is just a little pointless, I'd still suggest doing it once or twice. There are plenty of ways to buy this game. Pretty much anything that says Sonic and Collection. Sonic and Collection will have this game. The Wii U Virtual Console has it. I'm pretty sure you can find it on Xbox Live. And the 3DS has a 3D version, which adds depth to it, and it's really kind of cool. I've only seen screenshots, but the effect is still there. This is LEGO Man 415, and I bid you a good day and a better weekend.